I'm going to tell you about the best cup of coffee I ever had. There really is something about being outside and having a cup of coffee when it's chilly. I was thinking about this the other day. I remember the first cup of coffee I drank when I was in Iraq like it was yesterday. It's funny how you have so many memories, but some are more vivid than others. We got to Kuwait in the springtime, and it was already hot as hell. The temperatures were 110 to 120 degrees. I could barely stand the heat. I remember laying in the shade and talking to my friends about how we couldn't wait to go north, because up north it had to be cooler. When we had orders to roll into Baghdad, they asked for volunteers for an advance party. I volunteered for my, my team without hesitation. This is what we signed up for. I wanted to do my job. I had a great team, and I wasn't afraid. We got to Baghdad, and we slept outside our vehicles for a few days. Then we set up some tents and slept in a gravel pit. Eventually, we got better tents. That summer, we moved all over Baghdad. We ran missions in the day and the night. We did foot patrols in Baghdad. We patrolled the suburbs and hotbeds was with resistance fighters. Sleep didn't really happen, mostly from the heat. Through everything I did from arriving this spring and through the summer, my dominant thought was on the heat. Then one day, probably in late November, I remember waking up one morning and the air felt kind of cool. You could even see your breath. I remember also, I actually had a good night of sleep. I walked across the camp towards the mess tent for some breakfast and I saw the mess sergeant sitting there with a giant pot of steaming black water on a propane burner. I don't remember the mess sergeant's name, but I remember him well. He was an older male black with salt and pepper hair. He was tall and skinny. He didn't do anything fast and he walked like he had two bad knees. He sat at the beginning of the chow line and I smelled the coffee. He asked me if I wanted some coffee and I remember thinking, I might as well, it's kind of chilly outside. I reach for the ladle. He stops me and says, hold on, I had to hobo it. We didn't have any coffee makers, so he dumped some coffee grounds into a pot of water and boiled it into coffee. He took the cup from my hand and he careful, carefully ladled the coffee with as few grounds as possible. I had plenty of time that morning, so instead of going through the food line, I took my cup of coffee and I sat down and I enjoyed it. I remember looking over the camp. There was a low fog hanging over the grounds. People were slowly waking up and walking, dragging themselves like zombies towards the mess tent. The coffee probably tasted like toilet water, but to me, on that day, at that time, it was the best cup of coffee I'd ever had. We'd been in Baghdad for eight months so far, and to that point, that was the first time I ever sat down and thought to myself, I'm really part of something. And to this day, if I'm outside and it's chilly and I have a cup of coffee, I think of that moment.